Hi, it's Paul Hober here from uh, Venn Healthcare, and I'm here live from the Life Plus clinics in Harley Street, 19 Harley Street. I should also mention that my business is Physio and Therapy UK Limited. Now, <clears throat> one of the things we're going to look at here is a focused shockwave device, and we're looking at this primarily for the treatment of musculoskeletal problems. Um, this machine comes with uh, a, a screen that's much bigger than perhaps the other one and has a bunch of features on it. But first of all, let's just look at the handpiece. So the handpiece here, the on-off button is up here and that's an important part to note because uh, you don't want to be pushing this button down here to get that wrong. And the settings, if you can see, if I can get that into focus somehow, um, you'll see the numbers. If you're used to using radial shockwave, very, very different indeed. So we've just got a 0.30 um, uh, uh, and, and a, just a 2 on the hertz and we're looking at 2,000 shots. Let's just uh, count that. So energy in millijoules per millimetre squared is 0 0.30. Now that's actually quite high. We'd start off usually at about 0 0.10. So very, very low. Now the whole point about the focus shockwave and this showing here with the standoff in place is that it's much, much different if you compare it to the radial shockwave that, that you will know. And, and effectively what happens is the, the rays, if you like, the, the shockwave that comes out, comes out all different angles via the parable and, and you end up with about five centimetres deep is where the focus of all of those beams are coming in to meet at that spot there. So you don't really feel anything at the skin if this is the surface of the skin. They all converge and the shock wave actually happens here about five centimetres down. So it's, it's quite difficult for um, you to make sure that you're right on the spot that's hurting. So for example, um, I've just worked on a shin splint. So we used the standoff so that we are doing a much more shallow treatment. So you've got this distance here that takes it away. So we're now only going probably, um, I would say, 20 mil um, in. Okay, it's a much slower, if you listen audibly, it's a much slower clicking sound. We're on six hertz there. And you can come right down to about three hertz. So the treatment takes a lot longer. Now with a bit of gel on, you can feel the shockwave coming through. So the question I get asked a lot is what is the difference between the focus shockwave and the radial shockwave? So if you are a patient receiving radial shockwave, then radial shockwave therapy is something that has the most amount of shock where the, the applicator touches the skin. And then it fans out like so so that the, um, the shock wave, the audio wave, and the, and the physical shock wave itself spreads out. It's also quite shallow on how far it, it, it goes into the skin, so it's quite superficial, but it also fans out. And the wider you the head here, the more it fans out, and so the less depth you tend to get. So when you're looking at something like the deep impact head here for the radial shock wave, you'll see that's got the kind of gold colored head on there and it's much smaller, which means you get a greater depth. And because of the type of material, it will actually travel slightly further into the skin, but still with the most amount of shock being on the skin there. Okay, when you use the focus machine, which is uh, arguably very different in, in the method in which it works, you don't really feel anything until the point at which all of the, I'm calling them beams for the sake of, of argument, actually converge in that one spot. And it's very, very focused on a very specific pinpoint. So say, for example, if I was treating um, my forearm here, using the standoff, because it's, it's, you know, might be talking about lateral epicondylitis, you've got to go straight onto the tissue, yeah? So we're going straight on there, and, and then we'd be working away. I wouldn't really feel anything at the tissue there at all there'd be no sensation. But let's just say in trying to find the point of most pain, a slight move one way or the other and you could be off the target. So the patient has to give you ever such a lot of feedback on this to make sure that you find the point that is, if you like, most sensitive. Um, and then you can play around with the settings here 
to take it down, you know, from perhaps one hertz or, or 0.1 millijoules up, and then you can start moving up. And 1.5 would be quite a heavy um, number to be working on. And really you wouldn't, in many cases, need to go past uh, 0.25. That would probably be about the maximum you'd get to. Um, and that automatically decreases the hertz there. Point being is when it's on my arm, a slight change in position means that rather than going straight down, we've got a slight change in position and we're off our mark. If this is where we're trying to get to, it's got to be straight down on it. We can't lose concentration and start to move because we'll lose the point. So once you're on there, you've got to get constant client feedback to make sure that you're not moving your hand around over the course of the treatment. And because we're just on four hertz, 2,000 shots will take far longer, probably, well, it should be in excess of double the time if you're using a 10 hertz on the radial machine. So it takes a bit longer. Um, just about all of the scientific information that we've got in relation to shockwave dating back over the last 10, 15 years is all from the radial sh the, the focus shockwave. The radial shockwave has some really good um, papers for it, but a lot of the stuff we're using is extrapolating information from the focus shockwave machine. Now, Venn get their machines from Storz Medical. They are doing more research than anybody else that you can possibly fathom into how these machines work, getting clinical data, um, and, and they're also looking at how they can keep the compressors sending exactly what the machine says it's sending out of here for every single shot. There are other machines that you can buy that cannot offer you that. And probably by the 10th usage, you may well be losing some of the power. So you need to make sure you have a really good quality machine. Sometimes you do need to pay a little bit extra for that. But it's my personal thing, Paul Hober speaking here from Physiotherapy, that I would only look at Storz Medical. I've had the privilege to go out and see them working there, to see how they develop the product and see how much money and time they're putting into R&D. And I don't believe anybody else in the marketplace is doing that. So yes, it is around £24,000 to get your focus machine, as opposed to between um, probably seven to 12 for your radial machine, depending on whether you get the MP50, MP100. So there is a big difference. I'm not looking at it in terms of one machine versus the other. Some of the best results they're getting in Switzerland are a combination therapy, where they're using radial and focused. That's what I've been doing here today in Harley Street. The early results seem incredible. I intend to update you as to how that's changed my practice. And don't forget, I'm an avid user of shockwave therapy. I've been using radial for a short while. Um, uh, sorry, I've been using radial for three years. I've been using focus now for just a short while. Um, I am personally, for my own treatment and for my patient's treatment, really very impressed with this machine. I think it offers a totally different element to our, our treatment course and I will myself be looking at with a couple of key um, ambassadors with the Venn Healthcare will be looking to stipulate what um, protocols we'll use for just focused or just radial or the combination therapies when using them both together um, and that will be getting released very soon so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to do more um, of these little live um, showings over the course of the next few weeks, every time in Harley Street I'll do one and we'll delve into different treatment protocols each time. But we do want to update you, we do want your questions to come in the comments below. We want to know what it is that you want to learn about focus shockwave, about radial shockwave, and the way in which we can integrate that with our treatments to make sure our patients get the best outcome. All right, so my name is Paul Hobra. On behalf of Venn Healthcare and Storz Medical, thanks very much for watching.